right, all right. Happy Sunday, everyone. Some call it Sunday Fun Day. And uh, in this video, we're going to do another Try This Build. Now, this is a, uh, a build combination that was requested for me to use. And I put it together, and it's, uh, it's all right. It, it has me on the line. I'm not sure if it's, you know, if it's a solid build or uh, it could be better. I'm not sure. My biggest um, biasy, I guess you could say, with this build is it's featuring the Bighorn. Now, the Bighorn is the exotic assault rifle that you can get from legendaries, whether it be legendaries in the Summit, whether it be legendaries, strongholds, you know, what have you. Um, you can get it to drop on legendary. Now, the easiest way to get this weapon is to farm uh, Summit, legendary with assault rifles as your targeted loot and uh, I'm sure if you find you know a boss floor you know 10 20 30 40 all the way up to 100 if you go uh, into one of those boss floors um, they are likely to drop one for you but with all that said and done let's get into the video I hope you enjoy it here we go what's going on youtube kamikaze von doom here with another division 2 build video so sit back relax grab that popcorn don't forget to hit that like subscribe if you haven't already and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below but this is going to be your big horn umbra initiative build this has been highly requested and just so you know before you comment down below another umbra build for me to try out I already have Umbra Bullet King, Umbra Chatterbox, and then I think there's another Umbra that's been highly requested. So we still have a few to go through, but in this video we are going to do the Bighorn Umbra Initiative combo. So I hope you enjoy it. Now we're going to go ahead and jump right into the gameplay, and then we will come back for the build breakdown. I'm going to show you both PvP and PvE gameplay, and then we're going to finish up with the build breakdown. So with all that said and done, roll that footage. Oh, and hit that like. What are you waiting on? Hit the thumbs up. Come on, let's go. Defender drone. Defender oh, I drone. see him. Detected. Rogue restore hive detected. Oh. Hive see the other one way down there on the truck? Yep. Let me see. Got him. I got him off the truck with the scope, buddy. With the scope. Oh, man. That was dirty. Oh, there's another one here in the corner. Got him. And he's dead. Let's keep it going. Yo, that was sick. That was sick. Alright, got my stacks. Let's go. Here's one. Oh, he tried to get me with the uh, sticky. Another one right here on the corner. Yep, he's down. That's two. Nice. Patch yourself up, soldier. Oh no, I'm not picking him up. Never mind. You're still in the fight. Oh, sorry, sorry. I don't see him. Two up, two down. There we go. Got him. He's down. And the rest just respawned. All right, here we go. I'll check the right side. Nothing. Right side's clear. Okay. Oop, got one. Another one pushing. Oop, got two. Oh, there's two more. Hold on. Hive on me. Got three. Oh my god. Oh my god. The fourth guy's running. The fourth guy is running. Oh man. Can we do this? Get all four. Can we get all four? Come on. Come on. Oh no. He just popped a hot. Oh man. He popped a med kit. Damn. That was a good med kit though. Hey, GG's on the pickup. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. That was sick. All right. I think I just saw one down. Yep. Right here. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. All right, he's down. Oh, man. Oh, man. There's another one right here. Oh, my God. 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 They're, just, they're everywhere, man. They're Sounds everywhere, man. Game, game over, man. It's game over. Hey, hey. Agent look at the heels, man. Hey, thank you for the revive. Hey, it's not game over, man. 
Got that mercy rule. Let's go. Yeah, that's pretty sick, though. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of this, but the, the big horn does smack, man. I, I will admit, the big horn does smack. Let's go. Let's go. MVP, baby. Yo, what did I just spawn into? What is this? Oh, my God, dude. They're in your spawn? Oh, I hate joining games like this. Like, why? Oh, there's one. Dude, they are all up in the spawn. Hold on, hold on. Let's try to get you out of here. Right, I'm gonna go left. Damn. Oop, there's two down. Two down. Hold on. We got this, we got this. There's three down. We're okay, guys. Oop, oh, oop, oh, I got foamed. Oh my gosh, let me, hold on. Oh my god, I got foamed again. Oh, <laughs> Uh, GG's, man. You Agent told me down. twice. Dang. Got me twice. Agent killed. GG's. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gotta wait for these stacks, man. Let's see. Oh, behind us. Oh, my God, dude. They pushed Whoa, hard. Explosive they pushed mine. really Detected. hard. Wow. Hold on. Hostile. Explosive seeker mine. Detected. Yeah, I've almost killed that one guy just from far away. Oh, hold on, I got you, bro. I got you. I got you. There we go. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Oh, no, bro. Oh, no, bro. I got you, dude. Pulled out a drone. Oh, I'm going to jam that shit. Oh, got him. Got him, coach. Got him, coach. Let's keep this going. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Get my Defender stacks up. Let detected. me heal up a little bit. You got this. You got this. Oop, right here in front of me. Ooh, he's down. Nice. Keep it going. I think that was all of them, too. Nice. GG's. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it seems to be dead up here. Seeker out. Oop, Seeker has someone down low. On you, fresh. All right. Oop. Uh, boost is up top. Up top. Oh, I have one. Oh, snap. Got him. Wow. 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 We woo we. Dang. All right. I got the boost. All right. We have armor. We have armor. They're out of reinforcements. Run. We got him. We got him. Go, go, go. Oh, that one's down. Another one up the ramp. We got him. We got him. We got him. Nice. GG's. Another one up the ramp. Oh my God. Go, go, go. Nice. GG's. GG's. We got this. Dang. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. You won. Is that well another done. MVP with the big horn, bro? And I heard Striker Drone. Oh, right here in front of me. Right here in front of me. Oh, he hit me with a with a Achilles pulse. What the? Oh, got him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, that was, that, that was, oh, my gosh. I don't think I've seen someone die that quick from the bighorn before. Wow. Oop, jumping over. We got this. He ran. Why'd he run? Okay. There's no one else in their spawn. Okay. He's down. Oh, they're in their spawn now. Oh, man. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Oh, we got this. Okay. GG's. Kill up real quick. Oh, on me. Oh, he's down. He's down. Oh, my God. That was the same guy again. He might be using glass cannon. The guy's going down really quick. Oh, I see you, bro. Oh, I keep shooting my teammates. Oh, my God. I think I shot, like, half of my bullets in the back of your head, bro. Oh, I see him. Stick your head up, bro. Stick your head up. Oh, oh behind me. Oh my god, dude. Fire sticky. Wow. All right. PVE. Let's go. We're doing Lincoln Memorial on Heroic. We need you to secure the memorial we'll establish a baseline, see how this goes. And then remember, I'm using the gunner specialization for uh, this one. Because I want the Banshee Pulse. Oh, shotgun. Got him. Oop, another one. 
Got him. Ooh, headshots. All right, go. Oh, I didn't kill that veteran. Oh my gosh. Need like a 15 round magazine. There we go. Right. Yeah, the Banshee Pulse is clutch. There we go. GG's. Keep it going. GG's. Run! We got this. Come on. I still have some stacks up. Let's go. Ooh, headshot. Oh, almost. There we go. We got this. Oh, that elite jumped over. That's fine. The other elite jumped over. Dang. Okay. We got this fancy pulse, baby. There we go. And boom. Oh, behind me. Crap. Oh, something's shooting me from behind. Oh, no, 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 no. Who's shooting me? Yo, I bet that's a red bar. Oh my god, this red bar. Come on. I swear, they do more damage than the elites. There we go. One more. Oof. From downtown. Alright, Banshee. There we go. Oh, dude, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, that was great. Let's go. Oop, one more enemy. Where's he at? There he is. Oh. Oh my God! I blew myself up. There we all go. Clear. All right, all clear. Let's go. All clear. It's not bad. Not bad. Uh, get my stacks up and okay, we're good. Let's go. All right. Bantium. Then I'll kill all these ones. Pop my defender. Let's see. Go. Down. Oh, that's heavy. Oh my god, dude. That's heavy. That hurt. Oh, I'm getting shot in the back. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is no bueno. No bueno. Oh, he's behind me, the shotgunner. Oh, that's what we okay. That, well, that makes more sense. You're messing me up. There we go. I was wondering what was doing damage like that. It's because there was a shotgunner behind me. Oh, oh. I'm still getting shot up. By what? Keep that bastard off me! Mm. Language. There we go. Yo, 1.3 mil when I scope in. That's stupid. Here, let's try that again. 1.4. One point four nine. Dang, dude. Let's go. I will kill you. Oh, get back here, bro. Why does that one always run? Always. All right, next. B and G. Let's try to time it out and then do the shock. Get his back. Get his back. There we go. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, this is where that short magazine. Oh my God. I swear, if I had like 50 rounds, I'd be so happy. There we go. Alright, now they're spawning up on me. And Banshee is back. There we go. Uh, we got this, we got this. Nice. Oh, we got it. Come on. There we go. Nice. And then... Boom. That's it. GG's. Yo, that's stressful, man. With the Umbra, where you... GG's. All right, what was the time frame on this? We dealt a great blow to the True Sun's infrastructure. What was the time frame? We confiscated a massive cache of chemical weapons and eliminated the stronghold. Nine ten. That's pretty solid. A nine ten with seventy five percent accuracy. How many headshots? Forty five headshots. How many kills? Eighty five. Holy crap, dude! Half of my kills were headshots. Half a billion damage, bro. Let's go. Let's go. 
and we are back so i hope you enjoyed it that was both pvp and pve gameplay to show you that this build in fact works um it works in both now for the pve gameplay i chose heroic just because i know there's still multiple you know groups in the community that cannot even play up to a heroic yet and i know there are loads of players in the community that are playing on legendary so i figured heroic was like a good you know median to meet everyone in now as far as pvp i do pvp in conflict the dark zone can be an animal within itself and with all the new bugs and glitches going on um, i'm kind of happy to stay in conflict it's my fun it's where I test all my builds for PvP, and yeah, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's jump into the build breakdown. Here we go. So this is your Umbra Initiative Bighorn build. Now this is the setup that I use in PvE. Uh, reason I'm saying that is because this one has the Gunner Specialization and the Banshee Pulse. Now I typically use that for PvE, sometimes PvP. Now, my other combination right here, this is what I was using in PvP. Now, I was using the same setup. I was just uh, having the sharpshooter for the specialization for that faster uh, reacquisition to targets. And I was also using a jammer pulse instead of the banshee, so I didn't really need the gunner specialization, which is pretty nice because this build can be used with any specialization and any skills. It doesn't matter as long as you have the big horn and this build combination, you can use whatever else you want. Just plug and play, whatever it is to match your play style. But uh, yeah, here is your PVE version that I was running through Lincoln Memorial on Heroic with. Which, by the way, did you guys see that half of my kills were headshot kills with this build? And how fast? I mean, it, it went pretty quick. Now, obviously, it didn't go as fast with, you know, other builds like Hunter's Fury and things like that because you do have to sit and cover and get that Umbra proc, you know, to stack up. Once you have those stacks, you're able to run around with your head cut off. However, you do have to get those stacks initially. But with all that said, starting with the specialization. We are using the Gunner Specialization. Reason being is for PvE and sometimes PvP, I love using the Banshee Pulse. I think the Banshee Pulse is probably one of the strongest skills to use for controlling your enemies, controlling your environment. Uh, a lot of people like to call it crowd control, where if you see a lot of enemies are about to spawn out of a certain door, you can Banshee Pulse them. They all stay exactly where they are, disoriented, and then you can get in position and mow them all down. It's pretty damn wicked. I love it. If you haven't tried the Manchu Pulse yet, please do so. But remember, it is linked with the Gunner Specialization. Now, as far as the weapons, I am only using the Bighorn. This is what was requested. Now... The reason I said I'm biased against the Bighorn is because I do not like this weapon. I don't like it. The mag size, for me personally, the mag size is too low. I, I don't like it. Because as soon as I feel like I'm starting to get into a groove, I have to reload. And then I have to reload. And then I have to reload. It's just not that fun. If I had maybe a 50 round magazine, I'd feel completely different. But... I feel as if even those veteran NPCs, like by the time I hit 40 rounds, I've pretty much mowed through all of their armor and most of their health, but they're not dead. They are not dead. And that's the problem here, is that even with 1.5 million armor, I wanted to make sure this build had some survivability to go with the damage. But the problem that I am facing personally is the Bighorn just has too small of a magazine size, it, it, in my opinion. Now, I know a lot of you love the Bighorn, so that's why I'm making this build video, because it was requested numerous times. So I am putting this together. Just remember that um, the way I'm playing and the way I'm using it might be different from you, and that's because I typically do not use the Bighorn. But, you know, I'm trying it out, you know. And that's what I love about, you know, this Try the Build series is that I just take what you guys request, and if I can use it in some fashion and show you guys, I will make a build video for it. So again, let me know in the comments if you have any other build ideas that you want me to try out in this series, try this build, um, because I'm more than happy to. Anyways, 
this big horn for this build setup, I'm sitting at 105.6k total damage. Now that is at expertise 11, so you can get 10% more damage on this build just by maxing out your expertise. I am only expertise level 20 on my Xbox account. And even then, I mean, you can see all of these weapons have some sort of upgra uh, upgrades to them. Um, the problem with that is uh, it costs a lot of materials. Like a lot of materials. Especially once you get over that uh, level 10. Because then it costs a lot of exotic components. So I'm getting there. But just note that with this big horn build, you can get it 10% higher once you get it to uh, Expertise 21. Now, as far as the attributes, everything's maxed out. AR, health, and crit hit damage. And then uh, the talent, Big Game Hunter. Now, you did see this a little bit in the gameplay in both PvP and PvE. Whenever I scoped in, I was hitting some insane numbers. And that's because of this talent, Big Game Hunter. When scoped, it will switch your weapon to semi-automatic. And it will deal 450% more damage each shot. Now, headshots will grant 2% headshot damage, stacking up to 50. And once you are at full stacks, 10 stacks will decay every 4 seconds until all of your stacks are gone. So on top of everything else, you can get 100% more headshot damage on this build. And that's probably why whenever you saw me using this in PvE, at the very end, it told me that half of my kills were headshot kills, and that's because I'm getting some crazy headshot numbers. Um, once I get these stacks up. Now the cool thing about this build is I said all you need is the primary and this build setup. You can use whatever weapons you want as far as the secondary and sidearm goes. You can use whatever specialization you want and whatever skills you want. Just as long as you have the four piece Umbra with the chest piece and backpack, one piece Fenris, and then the Picaro's holster, you are good to go in my opinion. Now, you can, you know, recreate this lightning a few different ways, but I do like this setup. Now, the reason I like this setup is because look at the blue core attributes. We have one, two, three. We have four blue core attributes. Now, the cool thing about this is we technically have three red core attributes because on the Picaro's holster, where is it? There we go. On the Picaro's holster, it gives us that attribute of 15% weapon damage. So that's how I'm able to be at that 1.5 million armor and also be at 105k on that big horns, you know, base damage. And that's because technically you get two core attributes out of that one item. Now I matched that up with the Fenris because I wanted extra weapon damage. I knew that at 1.5 million armor that I'm good in the survivability aspect of it because I can always just jump into cover and get my armor regen. It does take a second, yes, it does take you out of the battle, and it does, you know, increase the overall time to kill, but it's worth it because it increases your survivability, and on top of that, that Umbra gives you 100% crit hit damage with all of that RPM. I mean, I don't know. So matching that up with the Fenris, I felt was a great idea because just out of these two high-end items, we're getting, uh, what's this, 25... 35 we're getting 40 percent weapon damage just from these two items alone that's pretty damn good all right so uh let's do a deep dive into this gear starting with the umbra initiative now because i am running the umbra chess piece my stacks for from the shadows go up to 100 and they stack up 20 per second so that's five seconds you have to sit and cover to get those 100 stacks from the shadows now, I am using the backpack, so again, the Into the Light part of the talent, we also get 100% or 100 stacks and 20 stacks gain per second. So, we get 100 stacks in cover and out of cover, and they stack up 20 per second, and they consume 20 per second. So, everything is 5 seconds. Sit in cover 5 seconds, jump out of cover for 5 seconds, and then you can jump back into cover for 5 seconds. And that's how you get all your stacks. Now, the Umbra Initiative gear set bonuses we get from this build, 15% crit chance, 30% reload speed, and then that talent, which gives you two different talents, from the shadows and into the light. Now, from the shadows is while you are in cover, and into the light is when you are out of cover. 
So the first one, From the Shadows. While you're in cover, you gain 20 stacks per second up to 100. Each stack will give you 1% crit hit damage and increase your RPM by 0.3%. So whenever you sit in cover for five seconds and you get all of those stacks, you get 100% crit hit damage and 30% boost to your RPM. Now, just uh, for a little bit of math here, we're sitting at 127, just a baseline. And that means this goes up to 227 as soon as we have those Umbra stacks. Now, another thing we have, uh, what's this? We have 800 uh, RPM on the Bighorn as it sits, but let me see here. If you increase that to 30%, it jumps you up to 1,040 for the RPM. 1,040 with 227% crit hit damage on a Bighorn, and that's excluding even the headshots. So back to the Umbra, right? Now it says uh, the buff does not apply while you're in cover. So if you get your stacks up and you are still in cover while you're shooting, you do not see the increase to the RPM or your crit hit damage. So you do, in fact, have to get out of cover for that, you know, perk to enable. And then uh, speaking of which, while you're out of cover, you get into the light. Now into the light, while you're out of cover, you gain 20 stacks per second up to 100 each stack will give you 0.8% armor regen once it's consumed, and it'll consume 20 stacks per second while in cover. So, now that you are in cover for 5 seconds, you get 100% crit hit damage and 30% buff to your RPM. When you get out of cover, you start to gain your other stacks into the light, which give you that armor regen. So, 5 seconds, you get 100 stacks, jump back into cover, and you can consume those stacks. Now, it'll consume it 20 stacks per second, which will give you 16% armor regen per second. Pretty damn wicked. And that's why Umbra is a very well-balanced uh, gear set, because you're not only healing yourself, but you're also buffing your damage as well. Now, with all that said, let's jump to the attributes. Umbra Mask, Max Armor, Crit Hit Damage with a Crit Chance mod. I went with Crit Chance because we are using an Assault Rifle. Umbra Backpack, Max Armor for the core, Crit Hit Damage, and then a Max Crit Chance mod. Going to the chest piece, Max Armor, Crit Hit Damage, and a Max Crit Chance mod. And then finally, the gloves, Max Weapon Damage, and then Max Crit Hit Damage. Now, using all three of those mods for crit chance has brought my uh, my big horn just under 50%. We're at 49% crit chance. Now, for the last two pieces, we have Fenris um, for the knee pads. So, Fenris, brand set bonus we get from this build, 10% AR damage. For the attributes, we have max weapon damage for the core, crit hit damage, and crit chance for the normal attributes. And then finally, that creme de la creme, the icing on top, the sprinkles, the cherry, whatever you want to call it, the Picaro's holster. Now, the reason why I say that is because you get two core attributes out of this. You get the max armor and you get the max weapon damage just from using this one piece. So I'm able to hit 1.5 million armor and stay over 105k for that Bighorn's base damage by using this holster. Pretty damn good. Now, not only that, but this also comes with max crit hit damage, and because it's one piece of Brazos de Arcabas, you get 10% skill haste. And there's the build, everyone. Now, as long as you make this build combination with the Bighorn, you are good to go. You can use whatever other weapons, skills, or specializations you want. It's up to you and your playstyle. Now, let's finish up with the stat sheet. This is for my Bighorn. We're at 105.6k for the weapon damage. It drops down to 42.2k for PvP. We're at 49% crit chance, 127 crit hit damage, 105 headshot. Don't forget about the health damage as well. Going to the offensive tab, we're sitting at 66% all weapons damage bonus with 40% AR damage bonus. So every time we're using the Bighorn, we are starting off at 106% damage bonus total. For the gear talents, we do have Into the Light and From the Shadows with our... Umbra Initiative brand set, or gear set. 
For the defensive tab, we're at 1.5 million armor, 148k armor on kill with 339k health. We have 10% explosive resistance and hazard, and that is due to my watch level. So here is your disclaimer for all my build videos. I am currently shade level 3810. That means all of these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. So if you are at or above shade level 1000, you'll have the exact same attributes that I do. So just copy and paste my build and you'll get the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1000, some of these boxes will not be maxed out. Therefore, when you copy and paste my build, some of your numbers might be a little bit lower. It's okay. This is still a great build to run. Trust me, I'm showing you it's a great build. Just note that your character is min-maxed once you reach shade level 1000. So I recommend you go you know, to shade level 1000. It's not a requirement, but you do get the most out of your build when you do that. Now, after shade level 1000, it doesn't matter. Nothing else goes up except for your health. But all right, everyone. That is it for your Bighorn Umbra build. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. If you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more Division content, and let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. But uh, yeah, that's it, everyone. Have a good day. Take care of yourself. See you in the next one. Peace.